So hata wewe ambao unasikiza kutoka kwenye ghetto popote pale ambapo unaipatia show ya mambo mseto mtu wangu leo niko na mgeni kutoka Tanzania na ndio maana ameingia kwenye show kali kwa ajili ya kuweza kuja kujumuika nayo natumai kwa fresh SMS 2106 baadaye nitafungua line ya simu kwa hivyo mtaweza kupiga simu na kuinteract moja kwa moja na Hamisa Mobeto ila kwanza na kukaribisha karibu sana nyumbani asante sana Hamisa Mobeto jina ambalo limesikika sana sio tu um, kwenye mitandao kwenye redio na mpaka sasa hivi watu wamekushuhudia kwamba umeingia kwenye burudani katika ku entertain kama mwimbaji mhm yeah. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Kwanza unaionaje una Kenya? Unaizungumziaje Kenya? Am um, naipenda sana Kenya kwa sababu mara nyingi huwa niko huko. Najua rafiki yangu BFF au QP anakaa huko. Mm. So mm. for some reason huwa ndaote niko Kenya. Mm. And then na, na, na fans wengi kutoka huko wananipenda sana na wapenda mno. So it's always a pressure, mm. a pressure to be here and mm. I feel like niko nyumbani kabisa. Kitu gani ambacho unakipenda kina, ambacho kinakufanya uone Kenya ni sehemu moja ambayo ni outstanding? Um the people mm-hmm. um wa, watu wako wacheshi sana wa karimu yes mm-hmm. mm-hmm. alright so, miaka kumi kabla ya kujua labda tuseme miaka kumi iliyopita yani miaka kama kumi na tano tuseme ulikuwa wapi 15 years ago where were you school mm-hmm. nilikuwa shule mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> shule ya ya lakini yeah. nimemaliza nimemaliza form 4 mm-hmm. f2 na 11 mm-hmm. so it's just up to like 2020 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. at that time vision yako ilikuwa ni gani Um, kwa wakati niko shule nilikuwa nataka kuwa mwanamuziki kabisa mm. it was my dream actually when i was in school i wanted to become a musician mm. lakini nilipomaliza tu shule kutoka mm. watu wakaanza kuni approach kwa sababu mimi ni mrefu mm. na mwili ulivyo body na kila kitu mm. wakaniomba you should try modeling you should try this mm-hmm. so nikajikuta nimeingia kwenye urembo nikaingia kwenye umodo nikaja kuingia kwenye movies mm-hmm. so now nikaona ni perfect time kwa mimi kuanza kufanya kile kitu ambacho nimekuwa nakitaka always Aha. Yeah. so at first you wanted to become a musician yes that was actually my dream yeah alafu hiyo ndoto yako kidogo kaitulia baada ya kukuambia kwamba urembo wako unafaa upeleke kwenye kwenye model yes aha mm-hmm. so katika kazi yako kama uh, model mm-hmm. uh, kwa mkenya ambaye afahamu labda mm-hmm. vitu gani ambavyo uliweza ku achieve ambao unaweza sema kwamba nashukuru ni achieve kitu fulani na fulani kama model actually ni kwanza nijengea platform ambayo unajua safari moja once nyingine so mm-hmm. from there mm-hmm. like ni singe kwa model labda mngea kwa hamu mjua misa mm-hmm. who knows mm-hmm. so from that and mm-hmm. then nime, nilipata some few awards nikifanya mm-hmm. fashion shows mm-hmm. that's it yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. na kar- ndika kuigiza sasa. Yeah. Ilikwaje ili uli nipataje kwamba unaigiza unakuwa muigizaji? Am niliomba hivyo hivyo wakamwambia yao tuna movie hivyo akalita pesa nzuri nikafanya. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um what can you say about your success katika uigizaji? What can I say? Mm. Um kwa sababu bado naendelea. Mm. I still I'm still doing it all. Mm. Like na, I still I'm still doing movies na mm. kuna movie hivi karibu naingia location ku shoot. Mm-hmm. So yeah, tunaendelea tu. That's okay. Wakati ambapo ulikuwa na grow up, wazazi wako walikuwa wanakupatia support ku katika uh, ndoto ambazo ulikuwa nazo ama ulipoingia. My, mm. my mom alikuwa very supportive. Mm. She has always been very supportive of me mm. from the beginning. I, I think kama wa, wazazi wengi wa Africa mm. wangekuwa wanatoa support kwa watoto wao, mm. basi labda tungekuwa mbali zaidi kwa sababu mm. mama yangu alikuwa na support sana. I think she was the only person ambaye alikuwa who believed in me at that mm. moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah kwa hiyo alikuwa anafanya hivi sana ni ananiangaikia au mm. kwenye urembo na kuta mm. any she's, she, she was there alafu mimi ni mtoto wa pekee okay wewe ni mtoto wa pekee kwani you're the only first, the only child yeah oh really yes the only child the only all right <laughs> kati ya baba na mama nani ambaye alikuwa anakuadhibu sana ama alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ana deal na Um, siku sikulelewa na my dad mm. my dad didn't raise me mm. nimelelewa na my mom but and then later on my mom got married to my stepdad who mm. raised me mm. so kuniadhibu mm. um no nilikuwa si adhibi my mom tu ndo mkali mm. alikuwa gatu mkali but my stepdad was amazing mama kwa shay kuchapa ile kuchapa au kasema hichi kipigo sasa sawa amewe kunichapa ndio ulikuwa umefanya nini siwezi kusema niambie i was very stubborn kwa mm. you know mm. what did you do just tell us mm. <laughs> Aliacha nyumba then nil, akaondoka nikawa tu nimesikiliza mziki nikalala I didn't do anything mm. nilikusukosha vyombo siku sikuosha vyombo sikupika I didn't do anything that I was supposed, supposed to do <laughs> so she came back home she was hungry mm. na my stepdad alikuwa anakaribia kurudi nyumbani and you didn't do anything what mm. were you doing yeah okay mm. you see see mm-hmm. see si, 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 kubwa sana <laughs>